Hello all, welcome to this new lesson. In the previous lesson, we discussed about bitwise operators and its evaluation. And in this lesson, we are going to study about assignment operators and the different kinds of assignment operators that are supported by C language. Okay, so having said that, let's get started. So which operator in C language is considered as an assignment operator? So the equal to operator is considered as an assignment operator in C language. This is because the equal to operator will allow us to assign the value on its right hand side to its left hand side variable. And that is why equal to is called as the assignment operator in C language. So there are several such assignment operators that are supported by C language and let us learn all of them one by one. So as you can see on the screen, there are several assignment operators that are supported by C language. And among all of these operators, the simplest assignment operator is a simple equal to. So what does the simple equal to do? The simple equal to is used to assign the right hand side value to its left hand side variable. So it means now the value that is stored in the variable x is nine. Similarly, as another expression, as you can see over here, x is equal to y is equal to nine. So what happens in this case? the value of nine gets assigned to the variable y. And this entire expression will become nine, which then gets assigned to the variable x. And therefore, the value that is stored in the variable x is now nine. So one thing that you have to understand is that assignment operators have the associativity from right to left. And that is the reason I evaluated the right hand side assignment operator first and then evaluated the left hand side assignment operator next. So having said that, let us see the other kind of assignment operators. Okay, so the other kind of assignment operators are called as compound operators. They are called as compound operators. Right, so how many compound operators are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 compound operators. Okay, they are plus equal to, minus equal to, star equal to, division equal to, modulo equal to, left shift equal to, right shift equal to, bitwise and equal to, bitwise or equal to, bitwise x or equal to. Okay, so let us discuss each one one by one, right? So, as an example, if suppose I say x plus equal to 2, then this is considered as x is equal to x plus 2. It means by considering the value of x as 9, this expression becomes x is equal to 9 plus 2 and therefore the value of 10 will get stored into x, right? So similarly, if I say x minus equal to 2, this is considered as x is equal to x minus 2. It means x is equal to 9 minus of 2, which will result in 7, and the value of 7 will get stored into the you know, variable x. Similarly, when I say x multiplication equal to 2, this is considered as x is equal to x multiplication 2. This will result in x is equal to 9 multiplied by 2, which is nothing but 18. 18 gets stored into x. Similarly, when I say x division equal to 2, this is considered as x is equal to x divided by 2, which is nothing but x is equal to 9 divided by 2, which will result in 4, and 4 will actually get stored into x. Similarly, when I say x modulo equal to 2, this will result in x is equal to x modulo 2, which is nothing but x is equal to 9 modulo 2, which will result in a value of 1, and 1 will get stored into x. Similarly, when I say x left shift equal to 2, this is nothing but x is equal to x left shift of 2. And therefore, this results in x is equal to 9 left shift of 2, which will result in a value of 36. And 36 will get stored into x. Similarly, when I say x right shift of equal to 2, it is considered as x is equal to x right shift of 2. And therefore, this can be written as x is equal to 9 right shift of 2, which will result in a value of 2, and that 2 gets stored into x. Similarly, when I say x and equal to 2, this can this is considered as x is equal to x bitwise and of 2. This, this can be written as x is equal to 9 bitwise and with 2, which will result in a value of 0, and 0 gets stored into x. 
similarly when i say x bitwise or equal to 2 this is considered as x is equal to x or 2 and therefore this can be result as x is equal to 9 or bitwise or with 2 which will result in 11 and 11 will get stored into x similarly okay when we write x is x uh, uh, x x or equal to 2 this can be considered as okay this can be considered as x equal to x x or 2 which can be written as x is equal to 9 x or with 2 which will result in a value of 11 and 11 gets stored into x as you can notice okay though we say x plus equal to 2 or x minus equal to 2 and so on and so forth this expression will be considered as x is equal to x plus 2 by the compiler okay and you can see this long form can be easily replaced with the short form isn't it and that is the reason sometimes all compound operators are called as shorthand operators they are called as shorthand operators okay so these are the different variants of assignment operators okay so having said this i think now you have understood how to make use of assignment operators and more importantly i think you have understood how component compound operators or shorthand operators works Okay, so uh, we have reached to the end of this lesson uh, and in the upcoming lesson, I'm going to discuss about the increment and decrement operators. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. So if you really like this lesson, then uh, don't forget to like this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the updates on my upcoming lessons in this programming series. Having said that, wait in the next lesson. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. Love you all so much.